So I absolutely love my job. So I've had an opportunity to travel in a few countries all over the world, but I have not had the opportunity to travel in my own homeland, Liberia. Today, I'm in the center of Liberia, which is like almost like an artery where all the counties connect. I'm in Bung County. To be exact, I'm in Banga, where the people are vibrant and life is simple. I stand today on the Tudman Military Barracks, which is the home of the 23rd Infantry Brigade. Please take a look at this view behind me. So my trip to Bung County is one that has definitely left a lasting impression. Our camera crew was privileged to ride along with the presidential delegation, which made our experience even more exciting. As we navigated through Kakata onward to Bung, the villagers poured out onto the streets and welcomed us into town with songs, chanting, Ma Ellen! And then there were dancers, dance, dance, and more dancing. As expected when you travel with Madame Sirleaf, be prepared to stop and meet the locals along the way. We entered a community where I learned how palm oil was created. With the new day comes new innovation. The women no longer have to beat palm nuts in a mortar. Here, they come together collectively and churn the palm nuts into oil instantly. Some women still prefer the old-fashioned way of breaking palm kernels and using them for pancana oil. After a full day of travel, I was beat, so I turned in, anxious about what tomorrow would hold. It's Sunday morning. This service has left me overwhelmed with love for my country and speechless when I heard the voices of the choirs that performed. Christ Ambassadors opened up the service with their own rendition of Lone Star Forever. The Lone Star Forever, the Lone Star Forever, oh Lord, may it float, oh Lord, may it Participants included everyone from Senator for Bung County, Jewel Howard Taylor, to the Information Minister, Larry Brokla, to remarks from the President herself. It's a new day and I'm standing on the grounds of the historic Cuttington University. Cuttington was founded back in 1889 by the Episcopal Church of Liberia in Kipamas. Later in the 1900s, it was transferred and relocated right here in Swakoko Bung County. Next stop, the stadium. What's Liberia's favorite pastime? Football. The energy in the stadium was nothing short of electrifying. Drummers drummed, dancers danced, and the ministers showed just what they were made of on the field. Before the games began, President Sirleaf greeted, took pictures, and encouraged the teams to play their best. Okay, so as if the church service wasn't exciting enough, I'm now at the David T. Kuyan football stadium where we're about to see some serious football playing and you can get this it's against it's ministers against ministers the executive against the legislative branch the girls are just done playing kickball the stadium is packed we have tons of security the unmill the liberian police force the, the secret service is here but we're having a good time now also behind me there are cultural dancers there's drummers there's all this entertainment the president just started off did her kickoff starting off the festivities for the day the stadium is crowded and we're about to have a good time so come on join me and let's watch this <laughs> are going up to greet the president. The, e the excitement in the air is it's crazy here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can get the organizer who put this whole game together, I believe, and see if we can get an interview with him. Okay? We'll be back shortly. This is Marvel Richards. Tell me about how this game came about. Well, um, as part of the Independence Day celebrations uh, about three years ago, uh, it was uh, decided that we'll include sports as uh, one of the, the the components of the event. And so, uh, Madam Sirleaf had indicated that she wanted to participate. She wanted to play. So we organized, and she played 
uh, football on the very first occasion. And then the second year we organized, we had kickball and, and football. But it was just part of the, the activities. Uh, Liberian people love sports and it was a way of trying to include include the, uh, you know, the, the cabinet in the in the process. And I think it was a wonderful opportunity for us to, to mix with, uh, you know, the legislature today and have fun. I think it's the first time that I know of that the legislature and the and the cabinet have had a chance to play. And I think it's a good beginning. <laughs> yeah. okay. I'm here with Minister Eugene Shannon. He's the Minister of Lands, Mines and Energy. Uh, you stayed in this entire game. How was the experience for you? Oh, I think uh, it was good. Uh, what I did, I calculated the game. Uh -huh. I knew that I'm not a young player. I knew that uh, the field was not in the best of shape, okay. very rocky, so I had already managed the field mm -hmm. and managed my play. Okay, you have a lot of endurance because I, of all the ministers out there, you were on top of the ball. I, think, I take it you've played soccer for a very long period of time. All my life, okay. all my life I played soccer, yes. Okay, yes. you did an excellent job. So if they have this next year, would you be playing again? Yes, I will. I will try to maintain my strength. I exercise daily, I eat well, and I uh, don't do the things I shouldn't do. Okay, wonderful. So we Thank need to you. keep that advice. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much Minister. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Our art. We do singing, we do drumming, we do any other thing you think about that can entertain you. As yourself, you see in this place, since all the group came here, mm -hmm. and at the end, you only see ballet Gideon Rooster standing. The whole group, they are all disappeared. And uh, we are standing there. It's now a competition. But if you know something, you have to be there and prove your talent. Okay. And that's what we are here for. Thank you so much. So this is the leader doing his thing? Yes. Go ahead. So there you have it, a weekend full of excitement right here in central Liberia. I've learned so much on this trip, including that Bung County is the third most populated county in all of Liberia, with a population of about 328,000 people. It also is the home of one of the largest tourist attractions, which is its major waterfall called Batawi. We'll go behind the scenes in maybe a couple of months to see that waterfall. Also, Bunk County is known for its natural resources, which include gold, diamonds, timber, iron ore. I mean, it's amazing here, the things that you can find. There are even 16 tribes that you find right here in Bunk County, but the Pella tribe takes over 98% of the population. You've been behind the scenes with Shawana Kishel. <laughs> Back home to the place where you belong. Oh, behind the scenes, wish you wanna cash in.